Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are doing really well. If you're new here, hi, my name is Michelle and please do stick around if you want to see more videos like these by hitting that subscribe button. But today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a haul of all the things that I've bought in Bombay so far. There's still a lot more shopping that needs to be done but I'll show you guys whatever I bought so far. In my previous vlog, if you've watched it, I did not show you exactly what I bought. I just showed you certain things that I'm going to buy. But then I did not show it in that vlog and some of you asked for a haul so here I am doing that. This haul is going to be a mixture of the things that I bought from different places like from the mall, from Amazon and from the street. It's not just from the street side. Let's start with the things that I got from the shopping center or a mall. It was just like how we have center point over there like a big place. It's called Zudio and we found really good makeup bits from this. I'm excited to show you guys. And I had gone there to get a few cotton shirts and things like that but we did not find anything. Instead I got two kurtas so the first kurta i got is this one it has like a yellow leaf pattern on an off-white background and it is so comfy you guys this was the only cotton thing that was there that i liked the western clothes are not really western it's like still a little indianized so it wasn't our style so mama and i my mother and i we decided just to get kurtas these are easy to throw on just put some tights on and you look put together you know you don't have to like figure out what pants to wear with it, what top to wear it, what will match and things like that. And then I also got this green one. It's like a sage green background with I don't know what kind of pattern this is. Again, like floral pattern. And these two are so comfy. As you can see, the tag is still on. I haven't worn them yet because I had other kurtas already. But I'm definitely going to wear them. And I tried them on in the changing room. They were super comfy. So... I'm glad I found these two. After that, we went to the makeup section and you guys, we were going a little crazy. We were trying all the different shades. We liked most of them, but obviously we didn't buy all of them because some of the shades we already had at home and it's like repurchasing the same thing and there's no use. So the first thing that we got is this Lip Shine lipstick, I think. Yeah, lipstick. And it's in the shade Shimmer Lush Caramel. It is this beautiful brown shade, as you can see. And it has shimmer in it as well. This is going to be so pretty to use just as a lip balm or even as a lipstick with some lip liner. It'll look so pretty. And then we got a lip mousse as well. I love lip mousses. Matte lipsticks are the best in this humid summer climate because if you wear lip gloss, I'm wearing lip gloss now because I'm at home. But this whole trip, I have not worn lip gloss and matte lipsticks have literally saved my life because they don't bleed or anything. If you go in the summer heat, walking outside, so at that time... Wearing lip gloss will be so annoying. So that's why we picked up this lip mousse. I hope it is good. We haven't tried it yet. But the formula looks pretty good. It's this pretty pink shade. And just like the brown one, we got a pink shade as well. It's this beautiful pink shade again. So pretty, you guys. I'll put in the footage of how many lipsticks we tried that day even that is so fun like just trying lipsticks on your hand and being like oh my god this is so pretty i love that part of shopping then i also picked up four different shades of nail polish because this time i forgot to bring nail polish one of the most important things for me is nail polish i always have my nails painted and i can't believe i forgot them so i got these shades they are mostly nudes and one dark brown i want a dark brown only because of indian food like when you eat Indian food your fingernails they literally get stained with turmeric and yeah so for those kind of days I wanted this dark brown nail polish and we're going to go back and get more of these like one more each because they are so good this formula is actually so good it's fast drying and you don't have to apply like too many layers you know where you need to get the full color on your nails this is just one layer and you're good to go so we're definitely going to get a few more of those and the last thing that we got from Zidio is this cheeky shine highlighter so as my father was in line to like check out we saw this at the last minute and the line was pretty long you guys but Beyonce somehow went through the line and gave this to my father so we got this it is so pretty Ooh. It comes with a lid on top. The tester did not have this. That is really good. So your product will not dry out. There's a lid that comes on top of it. That's cute. It is such a pretty shade. And the way it sparkles on your hand. I'll just put it on my hand and show you guys. This can be used as a highlighter. It can be used to put on your eyes. Anywhere that you want shine, it is a gorgeous shade. Now my hands are going to be all sparkly from the highlighter. Next up, I'm going to show you guys the two cotton shirts that I bought. I am in love with these two shirts. The first one 
is this beautiful floral pattern as you guys know i love floral this pink blue and beige colorway absolutely stunning and it is so light and airy perfect for summertime and the best part is i can always wear it in ua because once we go back it's literally going to be like 40 45 degrees so this is going to be perfect and the next one that i got is this pink check shirt it is such a pleasing color i love these two colors so much i'm glad that we found this because my sister and i we kind of find it hard to get our size over here for some reason i do not understand why but i'm glad that we got these two i totally forgot to show you one of the pieces from zudio it was kept under the street side shopping so this is the piece it is a beautiful mint cream top and it is sleeveless with collars my favorite kind of sleeveless top the next piece of clothing i got is from amazon and you guys these pants they are again cotton pants i love cotton things as you can tell these are the most well fitted pants that you can ever find i will put the link in the description for sure for everything that i can i already have this pair in white i got it last year on our trip when we had come i love these pants so much that i went and got extra material like you get to buy material right i got them in two different colors and i stitched them in the same pattern obviously the because the material is a little different from this one it does not give that exact feeling so i told mama i still need to get these pants in black because they are amazing super comfy flowy they fit well at the waist the length is perfect and yeah so i had to get this one the next thing i got is a coat it's a white like off white coat and this just came in the mail that's why it's still in the packaging i haven't myself opened it so I'm going to see it for the first time. The feel of this material, wow, it is super, super soft. I love this so much. This is the first time I'm getting it online. Usually, I buy this in the store. I get this so that when it's a little too cold in malls or like where, you know, sleeveless is not allowed. There are like dress codes in some places. I like to wear this with my dresses because they look so nice with it. Like it's well fitted and everything. It's not loose. I already have this in black but I wanted one in white. So I got this one. As I'm moving things, I'm realizing that I didn't show you guys a few things. So again, back to the makeup bits. We got two glosses of course. If you've noticed on my channel, I wear glosses all the time. So it's like me and not buying gloss do not do not go together you know so i had to get two glosses i got one in this brown shade and one in like a mauve brown shade i don't know what this is called basically i got two glosses and they are stunning i love them can't wait to wear them because here as i told you in the summer heat it's just going to melt off okay so back to the amazon purchases you guys are gonna laugh at me for this but i got like i think five bottles of hot sauce because this brand is amazing and you don't get this on amazon uae and last time i just bought it on a whim i'm like let me try this hot sauce and it was from the a store we got it online it's called dmart and i just put it in the cart and i was like okay let's try this hot sauce and i have been obsessed ever since we took it back to uae and we opened it there we didn't actually use it here on our trip and then when it got over i was like oh my gosh you don't get it in uae so this time i bought five bottles and there are different flavors it's called the nagin indian hot sauce and this is the original flavor and this you can use just on the side as a sauce for dipping things in or you can even put it in your noodles and wherever you want to use hot sauce basically i don't know why i'm explaining it to you guys and because i loved it so much i got the whole collection the spice level of each one is different so last time we had just got the mild one i guess and i thought that was the spiciest and it was pretty spicy it's not the spiciest ones like you know bulldog and all is like some other level of spice but then this time when i was looking up there's like a rating of how spicy it is so this is 6 out of 10 and this is the kanthari chilies then there's a 4 out of 10 which is called sankeshwari chilies and then i think the spiciest one is 9 out of 8 out of 10 there's no 9 out of 10 the 8 out of 10 is the bhut julakya sauce and you guys bhut julakya is freaking spicy so i'm very excited to try this last time we had just got the biadgi biadgi i don't know what this is called biadgi chili sauce and this was pretty good so this is the one that we tried the other three flavors i've never tried before so i'll let you guys know later on in the vlogs how spicy it is and i did say i bought five bottles it's because i bought one more and it is the sprig booth jolakia sauce you guys this 
is the spiciest chili sauce after bulldog obviously that i have ever come across it is absolutely amazing you just have to use like one or two drops and it is spicy it depends on your spice tolerance obviously and i can have spice really well but this one is super super spicy so you have to literally be very careful while dropping this into your food that's why it's like a slim bottle so that you don't pour a lot so if you're looking for a very very spicy hot sauce definitely get this one now the next purchase that i have made is amazing you guys i got these lens wipes i know it's not that exciting but trust me everyone needs these because they are the best these are wipes like they're dry they're not wet wipes and these have saved me so much on my glasses my glares i always get fingerprints right and sometimes i have lip gloss or like something sticky on my fingers and then using the cloth that comes with the ray-bans it's it doesn't really remove it completely but these wipes they are so good you guys you just wipe them like a few times and they does not leave any streaks it takes off all the dust particles and it's like brand new surface it literally feels like a brand new surface and this actually my mother's sister she recommended this to us so i think one or two years back she had given me this one cloth and i have used that this whole time and we were not able to find it on amazon she said that she got it on amazon i think it went out of stock or something but this time when i was looking through i finally found it so i am super happy so everyone that has like glasses if you're wearing glasses every single day and you like get irritated by the fingerprints definitely get these these help a lot so now let's move on to accessories i bought two different wallets and a bag you could call it a laptop bag yeah it's a laptop bag so the first wallet that i got is this pretty indian kind of pattern it, i love the colors in this just look at that it's stunning and this is all handmade so this i found on the street side we were just walking around and mama's saw this and mom was like do you want this mama as in my mother so i said yes definitely accessories and me i'll never say no and it is really spacious as well you can keep your notes inside currently i only have a 10 rupee note in this because my other cash is in the other wallet and look at this 10 rupee note it is super 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 old i've only kept this because i want to keep this note i do not want to use this i love these old looking notes and nowadays i don't think the 10 rupees even looks like this there's like a newer note or something so yeah i got this wallet first i think that was during our first week of our vacation the next wallet i got is this brown leather wallet i wanted a wallet that i could use every day the one that i currently have is an orange one i'll show you guys just a minute so this is the wallet that i'm currently using it's a pretty small wallet the notes get folded inside this as you can see here i have to fold my notes just to keep it in and i was not a big fan of that initially i bought this because i wanted to keep it in my bag and my bags were small so i couldn't fit a big wallet inside it and I got this from Global Village I think last year or the year before that but this time because I've bought bigger bags now I can put a bigger wallet in and I found this on Amazon it is another leather wallet this time I went with a simple brown one because I as you can tell I was obsessed with orange but now I'm calming down I don't want any more orange in my life I have lots so I went for this dark brown color and this wallet why I liked it is because it's not very heavy without stuff in it because some of these leather wallets can as you go bigger in size they are they're pretty stiff and heavy but this one is nice and light it opens really well the hardware is good and you have this lining cloth lining on the inside you have space to keep your coins and all your cards and your identification and everything and it also has this section on the outside if you want to keep something there so this was a really good purchase the thing with buying things online is that you don't really know how it's going to turn out but i really got lucky with this one and last but not least i got this beautiful amber brown leather bag it is for my laptop and it fits perfectly in here it is so pretty i have been looking for a laptop bag for a while now i do have a laptop bag at home but that's a little small i can only put my laptop in it and maybe like a pouch or something but this one is super spacious it is nice and sleek as well as you can see right now it is kind of flat because i had kept it in my cupboard with other things but it is stunning it has this laptop casing on the inside and then it has the zip and basically a very pretty bag i love it but there was a funny story that happened with this bag not in this shop so my aunt had suggested one of these leather shops to us and it was a little difficult to find because it's a small shop in this long street anyways that's not the point we found the shop and we were excited because 
we were already tired from doing sightseeing and all and we just wanted to go and finish our shopping right so we enter the store there are three workers in the shop okay and they're sitting there and they're talking in hindi and then obviously you tend to listen to what they're saying right so they were literally talking bad about the customer that had just left and i think they thought we don't understand hindi i don't know what the situation was over there one of the guys was literally saying we got such a good deal i told her 50000 rupees for this one bag and uh, she bought it for 45000 actually the bag is only 10000 rupees and we were like we obviously didn't react but it was so i don't know like what customer service is that there are other customers in your store and you're literally talking bad about some other customer the speed that we came in i think we literally left in the same speed because first of all we didn't find the exact kind of bag that we wanted we were looking for a certain style and when we were asking them they were busy talking about that client and they were not really interested in selling a bag to us so we just were like okay we didn't find anything like mama and i we were discussing no i don't think we found what we want so let's leave we literally left that place because of the way they were talking and then we found a gem of a place now this shop i'll put the name up on screen for you guys he helped us so much the customer service was great he has such beautiful pieces all unique pieces you will not find this anywhere else that's the best part about shopping in india you have these small boutiques where it's not this streamlined bag you have unique pieces and that's what me and my mother love so that's where I found this beautiful bag you do have to search a lot okay they have a lot of variety but to get what you want you have to search and that's why if you notice in the vlog I said we did so much of shopping and I'm like tired because we were literally looking for all of these bags so mama got two bags I got this one and Beyonce also got her backpack for her college so she's going off to college you guys she's so big now anyways that is everything that we got from Bombay so far I still like I mentioned I still have a little bit of shopping to do but I think I'll show you guys all that later once we reach UAE and while I'm using it I'll tell you guys where it is from and everything so I hope all of you enjoyed this video do give it a like and comment down below what your favorite piece is from all the things that I got and I will see you guys in the next vlog bye you guys also before the video ends I just wanted to show you guys the aftermath of a haul literally everything is everywhere all over the place as you can see i have to clean up all of this now that's the only not fun part about making these videos like you have to take everything out and then you are left with this big mess but anyways i'll see you guys in the next one